Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I've got a bit of a collective haul for you. Um, I feel like from now on I'm going to have to do a disclaimer, warning on every haul video. Um, I do, uh, I have officially started Christmas shopping and uh, if you are a person that I normally give a Christmas present to, please don't watch this video. Please. Okay, now hopefully all of those people have clicked off. Let's jump in. I've got a few different stores. Uh, the first one is Sass and Bell. Uh, when I was in London recently, they actually have a Sass and Bell store there. So I was able to go and buy a couple of bits. I really like Sass and Bell, but there isn't a store close to me. So you have to do online and you always end up buying loads. So it's quite nice that they have a little store that I can pop into. Uh, packaging striper bag, obviously branded bag, and there's a striper bag and a little sticker. I'm really sorry if you can hear crunching. Um, Darwin is eating some treats. Gilly had treats also, but he ate his quicker. That's why you can only hear Darwin making noise. Okay, so one of the items I bought is going to be hung up in my bathroom and it's a simple boat with a little bit of flags and then some fish and an anchor and it says life's a beach. I have been married a very long time. I've been married seven years. I've been with John for almost 15. I still get overexcited when I see my surname on anything to the point where every time <laughs> I buy something like this. I always feel the need to tell the shop assistant. It's like, look on my bank card, it's my name. I get a little excited, you know. But yes, I'm gonna hang that in the bathroom. I think it's cute. It doesn't really, it wasn't needed, but I just got overexcited because it had my name on it. The next thing I purchased, um, it's a Christmas decoration. <laughs> There's a lot of those coming. Um, not necessarily in this haul, but there's a lot of Christmas decorations in my life. Um, I got this really cute Robin Bell. So it's got little gold on the wings and the stars. And he's super cute. He's got a lovely face. Maybe it's a she with those eyelashes. But yeah, I thought that was super adorable. Downside is um, the entire rest of the shopping wants to purchase this. It's very noisy, Belle. But yeah, I like it. I like that one a lot. So those were the two things I bought in Suss and Belle. The next shop I've got for you is Urban Outfitters. Um, again, it's one of those stores because it isn't one locally to me and you end up going online and you buy a million things. So it's quite nice to be able to go in and just pick a few bits and bobs. Um, it was also possibly the nicest Urban Outfitters store I've ever been to just because it was so well laid out and very clean and very tidy. Um, I picked up two nail polishes. I got the shade Tutu and the shade Unicorn. So this is Tutu and it's a goldy glitter. Very festive. You know, you can see I've got glitter on my nails currently. I like a bit of sparkle in my life. Other shade is Unicorn. Yeah, if it will focus. It says Unicorn, trust me. And there's um, some purple and silver holographic sparkles, and there's actually unicorns in there. Very cute. And the other thing I bought was. Um, a scented lip gloss that I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use, but it was pretty, <laughs> literally, it's lip gloss with flower blossoms in, nothing wants to focus, and there's a gilly stood under the tripod, you stood under the tripod, yeah, yeah, come on, out you get, um, so yeah, it's a scented lip gloss with Lots of little flowers in. I thought it was really cute. This is in the scent. Oh, cherry. It's a very strong cherry scent. Yeah, 
Oh, you seem very strong cherry scent. Basically, it's one of those things. It's super pretty and I bought it. I don't think I need it. I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to use it. But it's pretty. Oh, the next bag I have is a rather giant Kath Kitson bag. Um, I bought more than one thing in Kath Kitson. However, I'm only going to show you one thing. Because even though I did the whole if you're somebody I buy a present for, please don't watch this video disclaimer kind of thing at the beginning. Um, the person I bought a present for from this shop will watch this video. So even though I've done the warning, I know she'll watch the video. So that's staying in the bag. But I bought myself a new handbag. It was in the sale. It was reduced from £55 to £30. Um, it's a bit satchely, which I like. Um, it's called, is it Wingrove Woodstock Flowers? I have a large, no, I wouldn't say large. I have, I have a few Kath Kidson bags. Um, I have nothing this shape though. Um, I really like it because you can wear it like this, just like, must admit, I wear a lot of my bags over a wrist. If it had a bigger handle, I'd probably wear it in the, in the corner of my arm. But yeah, I like it. It's more of a spring colour, but I don't care. And then you open it up like that. It's magnets, not poppers. And then it also has um, a long strap, so you can wear it, I believe, crossbody. And you know, I bloody love it. And I just thought it was nice. It's different to all my other bags, like all my other Kath Kitson bags. It's very different, it's a different shape, it's a different handle style. I was really happy with it. Um, and as I said, it was reduced from £55 to 30 Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Um, there's a thing I'm not going to show you because that person will be watching this video. Uh, I went to WH Smith's and I bought myself the Simply Christmas magazine because, you know, summer's over, Christmas is here. It's not winter is coming, it is Christmas is coming and I am going to be fully prepared. I love Christmas. I have some crafts going on, I have some homemade Christmas presents hopefully happening this year. Um, when I say hopefully, I'm going to make them. They may not be good enough to give out, but I'm going to make them. Um, I'm all ready for Christmas. Uh, I also went to The Works, which is like a discounted bookstore, but they sell like stationery and some toys as well, I think. I actually picked up two books, staying with Christmas. I got 150 Christmas recipes because, you know, you can always learn more Christmas recipes. <sighs> love food, love Christmas. Um, yeah, and this was two pounds, bargain, bargain. And they're not all like cakes and, and big fatty dinners. There is, I literally was flicking through it in the store and there's some really like healthy side dishes because, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm already celebrating Christmas um, and if I ate all the good, stroke bad for you Christmas food, I would put on all the weight I've ever lost in like three months. So it's nice to have some Christmas-esque food that's a bit healthier. And this I was very excited by. Um, I got the Sue Perkins, Spe oh, I'm always gonna say it around, Spectacles, a memoir. I love Sue Perkins. It's like the worst bit, you know, obviously we're still watching Bake Off, but um, I like Noel Fielding. I miss Mary Berry, but I miss Sue the most. She was my favourite cast member. Yeah, but she's hilarious and her Twitter gives me life. Um, so I picked that up. And that is my collective haul for you. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.